All right, YouTube, it's time for Occult Literature video number 84, The Stanzas of Zian by Helena Blavatsky. Uh, as we know, and I say this in full disclosure, Blavatsky was a fraud. So this particular document, which is rather short, it forms the core of the secret doctrine. And the secret doctrine is sort of the core of what became theosophy. So it's an, extreme, an extremely important work. But you shouldn't take it as a literal spiritual thing. Uh, that's why I didn't put it in the spiritual sort of scriptural segment of my book's blog. Uh, the interest that I have in it is predominantly historical in nature. If you want to know where it all started as far as post-Victorian era occultism, well, here it is uh, in only about 25 pages of material. Uh, still interesting, though. It talks about, like, the world egg and creation and all of these things. Sort of this uh, early, you could say almost steampunk-style uh, view of how the world began, a view of how things are arranged, uh, along with a lot of wordplay that Blavatsky put in there to make it look like it had been a translated document, when in reality it's a primarily misconstrued document. But still interesting, trust me. Uh, that being said, of course, as always, Link in the description to Amazon where you can purchase my edition of this work. Second link to my books blog, many other materials available. Some of them are more academic than others within that category. Of course, you get the phallic works, you get Leland's Aradia, the Gospel of the Witches, uh, and so forth there, the Chaldean account of the Deluge. Uh, Blavatsky was an interesting fraud, though. I will say that at least. She was a chain smoker. Um, see, she swore constantly. She defrauded people. Um, she cohabited, actually, with another gentleman who became a sort of a leader within Theosophy, although it's not entirely clear they were screwing each other. So, as far as polite Victorian society went, she really went out of her way to act the role of the uncouth Eastern, sort of Russophile uh, individual who had stumbled upon sacred doctrines and just happened to possess the skill uh, to bring them to a Western audience. This is where you really get the fusion of the Hindu and Buddhist paths and some of these other sort of cult movements uh, from the East. For the first time uh, in, in any real capacity, they start entering the Western dialogue. As far as the history of the occult goes, therefore, this is an important document. Not so much because it's an accurate translation of, of Tibetan lore from some secret master that she happened to meet wandering the wilderness during her years <laughs> in that general region, although she did. Uh, wander quite a bit. She was very well traveled for a person even of her era. Of course, a lot of the socio elites back then sailed all around the world to see all the colonial possessions and different states. Uh, there was a lot of movement of goods and people going on at the time, but she was particularly well traveled even for back then. Uh, she was obviously very intelligent in, in being able to write so much material over time. Some of it's nonsense, uh, some of it's quite good. A lot of it has to deal with, essentially, what you could say is her own philosophy masquerading as this fusion system. Uh, but Blavatsky really is sort of the, the godmother of that era of occultism. And as such, because that era influences the current era of occultism, it can't be overlooked. So I provide this more as a historical document uh, of importance rather than, strictly speaking, a, a how-to guide to spirituality or an actual true esoteric dogma. That being said, of course, it's still very interesting, and the secret doctrine at large, if you can obtain that. Uh, I, I believe the entirety of her works are now all out of copyright. I think she died before 1923, so you should be able to get them all uh, in EBA. If you're looking for electronic format, you can get PDF scans of all of these documents. Uh, of course, this one is paperback. So, uh, as always, link in the description to where you can purchase my edition of this work off of Amazon. Second link to my books blog. Much more material available there if you're into alchemy, grimoires. You want to hex your foes. You want to heal people with you know, medicinal herbs or something. Well, I can, in full legal disclosure, I can't tell you that that's a good idea. But I can tell you how it's traditionally been done. Fruits of Eden, it's a, it's a good work. I happen to write it myself, so I might be a little bit biased there. That's about all. <laughs> Peace out.